Kawasaki disease has become the number one cause in the United States and other Western countries of acquired heart disease in children. So many things that we don't know. How did their child get Kawasaki disease? How does the treatment work? If one understood the cause of the disease, then prevention may become possible. Each week, we have one or two Kawasaki disease patients in the hospital that are newly diagnosed. So to us, this is not a rare condition. And we're very attuned at Lurie Children's to what the clinical features are, what might be confused as another diagnosis that actually is Kawasaki disease. With our modern therapy, the vast majority of children do very well. If the illness is not diagnosed and treated appropriately, those children are at risk of developing coronary artery aneurysms, or swelling of the blood vessels that feed the heart muscle. And that's a potentially very serious problem. It can result in very serious heart disease that could be lifelong. Over the years, we've become known across the country as one of the major centers for Kawasaki disease clinical care and research. The primary objective of our research is to identify the cause of Kawasaki disease. We feel that once we've determined that, we can make so many more advances in diagnosis, treatment, prevention. There have been many new techniques that have recently been developed that really have revolutionized the study of infectious and inflammatory diseases. And our preliminary data are really very exciting and make me think that we're really gonna be able to get to the answers that we want in the next few years. It takes a certain critical mass of personnel, patient numbers, commitment, of philanthropy to establish a world-class children's hospital. And I think we certainly are blessed to have one here in Chicago.